Hi, this is Kamala Murphy, and you are listening to the Heart and Chutzpah podcast, where we talk about giving ourselves permission or having the chutzpah to just claim a right to live really juicy, luscious lives. With our big hearts, we're going to face love and loss, heartache and healing. We'll fall down and rise up again. And through it all, we'll develop our heart and our chutzpah, and we'll find our way to our own unique, luscious and amazing life. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy this episode. Hi, this is Kamala Murphy. Welcome to this episode of the Heart and Chutzpah podcast. Thank you for listening in. The following recording was something I had done a couple of days ago after having spoken with a younger friend slash colleague about how hard it is for some women to really face the fact that we're aging and aren't so young and pretty anymore. And she had what I thought was a really brilliant idea. And that was to write a love letter to my quote unquote younger sisters who are struggling with this, the the prospect of aging and their beauty fading and giving me an opportunity to share uh, my my different perspective on this whole aging slash beauty process, which she sometimes calls the, the vanity dilemma or the beauty dilemma. So if you are a woman uh, who is struggling with this aging process and your changing looks, I invite you to continue listening And if you would, just let me know how it landed for you. I'd really love to hear from you. And now, here's that love letter. Hi, this is Kamala, and this message is for my younger sisters. You know, I hear you sometimes talking so harshly about yourselves and your looks as you are getting a little older. And I hear that and my heart breaks because you don't realize how beautiful you are and always will be because the truth about your beauty is that it is part of your connection to the divine, to the light that shines within you and always will. And I know that you recognize that your looks are changing. And I won't tell you that they aren't because they are. What I do want to tell you and really beg of you is to please, please, please stop being so hard on yourself, especially about your looks. You know, I know that it's hard when something that you have sort of counted on or or taken for granted seems like it's slipping away. Um, because you know your skin isn't as firm as it used to be your breasts aren't perky um you know all those little lines that are showing up on your face near your eyes and your mouth it's like, ah on our bad days it just feels soul crushing or like your heart is being ripped out of your chest and the voices that you may hear, you know, picking at every single little thing you know, that you're fat, you're, you've gotten ugly, you, your skin looks like your grandmother's. And oh my God, look at that 20 something. She's so beautiful. And I'll never look like that again. My days of looking good are over. Let me assure you. Those voices that you hear are lies, lies that have been fostered by a misogynistic society about women, about aging, about women aging and their looks, and that once we're over whatever age, we no longer um, are beautiful, we are no longer sexy or attractive. And it's time that we take the whip 
out of your hands. So you can't beat yourself up anymore, or at least not very often, you know, because, you know, when we take that whip out, we can have, you know, um, more truth and more compassion for, uh, for ourselves as we age. Because yes, you are getting older, your looks, your body are changing. And what's important is that you are a daughter of the divine and that will never change. You are beautiful inside and out. And as an older sister whispering in your ear, mm. let's come to really know that um, our outer beauty might be changing, maybe fading, but we have a connection to the divine and that will never change. We are connected to beauty with a capital B and to the one who can help us reprogram and heal all of those distorted beliefs about beauty. And in doing that, also establish a sense of light and truth in us that will shine forever. So I'd like to invite you now to just take a couple of moments to let one beautiful thought come to rest in your heart. It doesn't have to be about um, your own looks. It could be about some beautiful um, thing in your life, a rose, a, a beautiful vase, you know, something that's beautiful. Let it rest in your heart for a moment. And let your appreciation of that beauty um, expand and fill up more and more of you. And as that feeling expands, what I want you to know is that beauty, that beauty is you. You are what is beautiful. You are beloved, you are a daughter of the divine, and you are beauty now and always. So let your, you know, let your light shine, embrace the beauty that you are now, and mm, just let that light keep shining through. Blessings, thank you. Lots of love to you. I hope you enjoyed that recording. And if you do know of a woman who is struggling with her aging process and might find this valuable, I'd really appreciate if you would share this podcast episode with them. And if you're interested in seeing the video that was done of this, it is on my YouTube channel and that will be posted in the show notes. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Until next time, bye for now. So there you have it, a little heart and chutzpah for the day. Today, give yourself a little permission to be both big-hearted and a little feisty, just like you were created to be. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll reach out to me via social media at Kamala Murphy, and it's Murphy with an E-Y, uh, or at my website, kamalamurphy.com. Again, thank you for joining me. Many blessings. Until next time. Bye for now.